hi there and welcome back to the InVision Wellness YouTube channel. As we continue with our gym review series, today we will be experiencing the Fit City Gym. This gym is situated in the southern industrial area of Bantu, Calvin Street. Today we will be meeting Leo at the gym. He's a fitness trainer here and he'll tell us a bit more about the gym. So. We're here with Leo, he's a fitness trainer at the First City Gym. Leo, how are you? You are good. Um, Leo, please tell us a little bit more about the Fit City experience. Um, the Fit City experience is a different experience. Yeah. It's uh, fun at the same time, but also very strict to the point. Mm. What we focus on is mostly functional movement, movement that you guys can use in your day to day life. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a simple workout, we try to incorporate our workouts into functional stuff that you can also do outside the, outside the gym. Okay, great. And can you tell us a little bit more about your packages? Um, what you guys offer here? Uh, yes, we have three different standard uh, uh, packages. Yeah. We have the student package, we have our annual and monthly package, and then we also have the personal training package. Yeah. So our monthly, our student packages are divided into two. We have the off peak and then the on peak. Yeah. The difference is the off peak is four hundred dollars. Yeah. But then you're only coming from eight in the morning until four p.m. Monday to Friday. Okay. And then you have the five fifty for students, which is all access. Weekends included. Okay. Anytime. Anytime. Okay. Then we have the uh, annual one and the monthly one. Mm -hmm. Our annual uh, subscription is six hundred dollars per month that we order for twelve months. That's for a year. And that no limitations on dates or yes, times. No limitations on date and times. You can pick days or you can Yeah. And then we have our month to month uh, package, which is eight fifty. Okay. Yeah. We also have a three months uh, package, but that's payment upfront, and the payment upfront is two thousand three hundred. Two thousand three hundred dollars. So now three the two for three months. Yes, yes. Okay. Now the month to month is that not contract based? Or uh, contract? All of our packages are contract based, yeah. but the difference is it's just the um, six hundred dollars, which is debit, is automatically deducted. Okay. Yes. Other okay. payments can uh, month to month, and the personal training package, which I still have to mention. Yeah. And then either EFT or you can pay cash. Okay. Okay. So now our personal training package is in different in terms of sessions. Mm -hmm. So you have three sessions a week and the monthly payment will be 1140 Four sessions a week will be 1360 and then five sessions a week will be 1500 Okay, now Leo, um, do you have, we started three sessions or can yeah. I have like, since if my pocket is not doing me well but I want a personal trainer, can I do less? Or uh, the less uh, sessions we have is actually just three sessions. We don't have more than this. We don't have lesser than three sessions. Is it? Yeah. Or because probably it won't benefit me then or what? It's not about benefiting, uh, benefiting but uh -huh. the lower sessions you can have is actually three. Okay. Yeah. You can actually work out three times, uh, three times a week. That's the lowest. Then the highest can go about five sessions to six sessions. Okay, great. And so how many trainers do you guys have? Uh, we are four trainers. We have uh -huh. two male trainers and then two female trainers. Okay, great. Um, that's, that sounds good. Um, definitely, I think, I'm not sure if the, the, the members respond better to the personal trainer packages or the other packages. Maybe just tell us a little bit more about uh, that. We have a overall, yeah. so it's in overall balance. Yeah. It's, not, it's not just to say that all of our clients are on personal training or all of our clients are on month-to-month -month, uh, packages. So we have an overall balance on all of our packages that we do offer. Okay, all right. And if I'm not sure whether I would like a personal trainer or not, how would you help me or would you would the gym be able to assess whether I can gym on my own or I should then join with a personal trainer? Um, for starters, if you are a beginner, you are not or on your first time training, yeah. I would recommend a personal training. Mm -hmm. yeah, just for the first uh, month or two, depending on how well you can go off on your own. Yeah. 
But then if you are a well person that, that has been in the fitness industry for quite some time, yeah. you can train on your own. Yeah. But at the same time, we do offer trainers that are on the floor mm -hmm. to assist. That's great. So whether you are on the personal trainer package or not, you still will get assistance. That's what you're saying. But the difference between the two is personal trainer requires a, a trainer to be by you at all times. Yeah. So he's, he or she is responsible for your nutrition, your training program, so Did you say nutrition? Yes. You uh, guys are doing the most. And the trainer on the floor is yeah. just to say, just to give guidance to like sport or just to help out the yeah. That's the difference between the personal trainer and the guidance trainer. Okay, great. Leo, thank you so much for that information. Um, I think I just have one more question before you take us on a tour uh, inside the gym. Um, so, the Fit City experience, right? You said it's a unique experience, it's different, right? So, tell us a bit more about the vibe, the atmosphere of this gym. Uh, it's a very active atmosphere, yeah. I would say. It's uplifting. So this is this is a place where people come to relieve their stress, if I can say. Yeah. So it's very it's very it's, it's peaceful at the end of the day. Yeah. That's that's you can tell by the smile on my face. So <laughs> it's it's a very nice too. That, yeah. That's great. I definitely do feel peaceful mm -hmm. just coming in here, and it's very welcoming as well. So Leo, thank you so much for this brief information. Welcome. You will take us through the gym. Yes, I will. Okay, great. So guys, there's more to come. Let's go. Right here, what do you have for us today? Okay, so what we're going to do now yeah. is before we start our workout, yeah. we're just going to do five second stretches. Yeah. Each stretch that we're going to do is going to hold five seconds. Okay, so is this what you do for all your clients? Yes, um, this is what we normally do before we start any workout session, yeah. just to loosen the muscles and the joints and the mobility. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start off with a normal overall body stretch. Yeah. We're just going to start off with the leg. I want you to do a knee hug. Mm -hmm. I want you to take your leg and then you want to press it like that. Okay. So Leo, regardless of whether I'll be doing upper body or lower body, I have to stretch full body? Yes. Okay. Uh, not necessarily full body. It's uh -huh. just today we're going to do a full body workout. Okay. Yes. So if I'm doing my upper body, I'm only going to stretch mine. Upper, upper, upper body. Okay. So if I'm doing lower body, then I'm gonna stretch my lower body. Lower body. Just to loosen the muscles. Oh, the muscles that you're gonna work on. Yes. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so I want you to All right. do this one here. Five seconds. Uh huh. Three, two, one. Switch legs. Okay. Again. Up. Yeah. Okay. Knee hug. My balance. <laughs> Three, okay. two, one. Switch legs. Three, two, one. Okay. Now what I want from you is I want you to stretch as wide as you can. Yeah. And I want you to stretch all the way down. I want you to hold that for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Stand up straight. Uh -huh. I want you to take your right hand. I want you to drag it across your body. Yeah. I want you to pull it. Once again, five seconds. Oh, I feel it here. Yeah. Three. That's the right place to feel it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Uh -huh. That same hand, put it to the back. Yeah. And I want you to pull your elbows. Yes. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Uh -huh. Switch. <laughs> Three, two, Switch. Three, two, switch. Okay. Now we can start our workout. Great. Okay. As simple as that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go outside. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you a simple drill, and we're gonna come back inside. All right. So our workout will consist of outside and inside. All right. Okay. Is it easy? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. So, what we're gonna do is, I want you to sprint. Sprint. Yes. Okay. So, I want you to sprint five times. So, meaning one, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. This is the workout or the warm up? This is the workout. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So sprint. sprint all the way to the end. Okay. Go back. I want you to give me burpees. 10 burpees. Take your time, don't have to watch this. Okay? Like and leave a comment below. I'm doing this for you guys, So we're gonna superset skipping, uh, 50 skips, and then we're gonna do incline dumbbell press. So in incline dumbbell press, I want you to do give me 10 reps. So all of this we're gonna do three sets. Okay. So 50 skips, 10 reps on the incline dumbbell press three times. Okay. Yeah. And what type of exercise is this? Like this is a full body workout, and then that we're focusing on a chest workout. Okay. So we're combining. Cardio and strength. Is it just strength? What is it? Uh, what is it? High intensity with strength. Yeah. I wanted to know what it is in trainer language. High intensity and strength. Okay, so high intensity and strength. Let's go. Yeah. 50 skips. 50 skips. Okay, so we're going to skip the first one. Forty, fifty. Okay. Choose your weights. I will go for the five kg to be safe. So with your incline dumbbell press, make sure you don't drop too far down. Okay. Okay. You drop a 90 degree angle and then you press it all the way up. When you press up, press to close at the top. Okay. So don't leave a gap in between when you're pressing up. Right. Shift your dumbbells this side. Keep it like this in all. There you go. Press up. Like that? Yes. If you want to press it up here. Get a bit this side. Yes. 
drop, push up, push two, push up, push three. Today we are experiencing Tech City. Leo, you are taking us on a tour around the gym? Yes, I will. Okay. Um, let's start off over here. Right. Um, these are our warm-up equipment. Mm -hmm. We have the rowing machine, which are these guys here. Yes. We have the bikes and then we have the treadmill. So these are um, uh, machines that we normally put pants on to warm up. Okay. So you can either warm up on the treadmill, the bike, or the uh, rowing machine. Okay. okay. So typically your cardio machine? Uh, no, I wouldn't say cardio machine, but I would say high intensity machine. High intensity. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, over here is where we have our weights. Yeah. We have the lat pull down. Yeah. We have the uh, incline chest press. Yeah. We have the flat bench, and then we have an incline bench. So this and this one is not the same. Oh yeah, it's not the same. Yeah, it's <laughs> not the same. This is for the upper chest, yeah. and then this is for the mid section of the chest. Okay. Yes. And um, this is where we have the dumbbells, the weights, and then our other benches that you can also use. Yeah. Moving on to that side. Um, Sorry, Leo, what is your heaviest here? Um, our lowest is 2 kgs, our heaviest is 50 kgs, dumbbell. Right. Um, over here is where functional training is mostly done. So we like to use this area where the mirrors are. So. Most of our functional workouts, high intensity workouts, other workouts that like uh, we had uh, a dance class here as well, step up class, those are the classes that we offered last year and the year before that. Okay. But do you have any classes right now? Uh, we don't have any classes right now mm -hmm. due to COVID and the regulations, but uh, hopefully in the future we might have uh, our boot camp uh, again. Um, step classes, dance classes, so yeah. it all depends on how the COVID regulations and stuff are going. Also, I think I just forgot to ask you guys have any promotions running this time? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any promotion. Yeah. The only promotion that I mentioned was the three months. Yeah. Because normally we only have a one-year contract, so we decided to bring it three months, okay. which is 2.3 up payment. Okay. So, so moving on, functional yes, moving on, yeah. um, we're going to show you the outside area, yeah. outside from the gym. Yeah. But also we do have the boxing gloves for those that do like to box and so forth. So these are some of our boxing equipment that we have. We have our mats, kettlebell, the medicine balls. And then outside here is where you can also use to work out. So if it's too full or crowded and you don't want to be inside here, you can also take your workout outside. Okay. So this is the outside area. Beautiful, I like the colors. Yeah. So if you want to get in touch with the outside world, the cars, yeah. 
the nice fresh air, you can also take your, your workout outside. Here. Some equipment that can be brought outside, you can, yeah. but those that can't, unfortunately, you have to use it inside. Okay, but what type of exercises do you typically do here outside? Uh, we do the same workout that you can be uh, doing inside, yeah. you can be doing it outside. Okay. So okay. it's not to say that it's only limited for certain things. Mm -hmm. I would just like to show you our leg, uh, leg workout machines. Yeah. Over here we have the kickback. We have the squat break, leg, leg curl, leg press, leg extension. This is the whole leg station area. Okay. And that's basically it? This is yes. the whole gym? This is the whole gym. Okay. And then except for the bathrooms? Bathrooms, yeah. The men's bathroom is this side uh, behind us and then the ladies' bathroom is by the reception side. By the reception side. Okay. So can we go? Let's go have a look. We headed over to the female bathrooms and they had a lot of um, lockers in their dressing room area um, so that's the first dressing room and then they had a second one which also had a lot of lockers and I'm just pointing at the air conditioning there which is definitely a good idea to have and they had three showers and some toilets and that was it for the female bathrooms so now we heading over to the male bathrooms and Leo is leading the way. Alright. And there he's just pointing at the showers that they have and the toilets as well as some lockers and that you should definitely bring your own padlock if you want to to be using the lockers and that was it for the male bathrooms right that's it guys that was the fit city experience leo thank you so much for welcoming us into your space it was fun um the workout was hectic guys but i made it through thank you leo and that's it yeah that's it all right come sign up for fit city <laughs> <laughs> guys you heard it from leo sign up for fit city and see you in the next Thank you.